for what I do, it's one of the best places on the planet to do what I do, to do theoretical physics. And I care about this place. I want to, you know, see it successful in the, in the long run. Mon nom est Laurent Fredel, je suis un chercheur permanent en physique à l'Institut Périmètre et je travaille sur la gravité quantique. So quantum gravity is the unification of two fundamental concepts, the one that comes from the fundamental building blocks and the one that comes from the totality of the universe. And, and it, instead of trying to decide which one is more important than the other, the goal is to find a, a, a unification, a duality between, between the two, a synthesis. What does it mean to be a theoretical physicist? The potential, the possibility to create something beautiful and meaningful, something that nobody else has, has had the chance to look at like what makes someone climbs the Everest for the first time. It's an amazing job. It's a very challenging job uh, because of all these components. You know, you have to find a way to put them together in a, a meaningful way. Being a communicator, being a deep thinker, being a, a teacher, among other things. He had asked me what I wanted to be when I was, I don't know, 15. I wanted to be a writer, then a jazz musician, then a mountain climber. And uh, OK, I ended up being a physicist. Maybe in some sense, that's why I go back to the adventurous part of it, like the, the, the part where we discover new spaces. But there's also something I appreciate about mathematics. It's very beautiful. It's hard, but it's kind of honest. And it's, uh, uh, it's peaceful. So I came here 25 years ago, uh, just at the beginning of, of Perimeter. It was, uh, kind of a crazy idea. It was amazing space with unique energy. You know, it was very utopian in some way. It was really a real sense of adventure. At that time, PI created three things that never happened before, like the first place to have quantum foundation, which was deemed not uh, uh, proper to do. Uh, I, mean, I was doing at the time quantum gravity, which was not really a field or recognized as a field at that time. So having, having a place that say, well, yeah, this is, this is your title and this is what you're going to focus on was a, was a big deal. And quantum information, as strange as it sounds, everyone in the world is doing quantum information today. Uh, 25 years ago, PI was, if not the first place, maybe one of the first or, you know, one or through, two or three. So, so that sense of being at the forefront of creating, a, a, you know, new, new space, try, trying to really push the boundaries was, uh, uh, was very exciting and every visitor came, that came here, you know, could sense that, that energy. I feel grateful for that. It was an opportunity. I'm always very excited about the future. So you have to understand, if you're, if you're a theoretical physicist, you have to have a very high level of resilience. If on top of that you work in quantum gravity, you have to have an extremely high dose of optimism, you know, in the sense that you're really hopeful that what you're doing now is going to have an, an impact. The best part of the job is always when you have the, the time to just focus and, and on the science and go back to asking the question and sharing that with others and sharing that, that process of discovery. I mean, that never gets old. That, that's just uh, magical anytime you can go back to it. The ability to ask new questions is uh, is really the, 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 the real power of understanding. <laughs>